Hey guys, what's up? It's Logan here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day. Today we'll be talking about the legendary maple gun. But before we get into the video, um, I, I do not want you to hit the subscribe button. Not yet. I want you to wait till the end of the video to see if you like me or not. Okay? Okay. Let's get into the video. The legendary maple gun. This fierce, fearful creature used to roam the ocean more than a million years ago. The Meg had several rows of teeth with very sharp teeth. And once, once the, the, the once they, once the Megalodon lost its tooth, it would grow back in like, in like a day or two. So it like the teeth would keep um, growing back, and as it kept eating, it would like, get stronger, faster. So it it would have like no problem with its um, food reputation stuff like that. Um, it measured to be sixty to seventy five feet in length. That's three times the size of a great white shark. Three. It had a bite force two times the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex and four times the size of a, a great white. <sighs> Sorry, uh, I've been talking a lot today. Yeah, it, it it fed on whales. That was its favorite dish. But the, its strategy, one of its strategies for attacking um, was for it to chew off the, the predator's fins, fins so they can't swim away. And then the, um, I won't get too violent, but the um, Megalodon attacks and, you know, kills them. But now we're going to talk about why is, why this great predator went extinct. Well, as you know, it was a fast swimmer because sharks have these pointy head tops so they can, like, dive into the water. And they have fins so they, so they can swim. And they have a flapper on the back so they can um, swim back and forth, you know. But um, as they ate all those pre predators, the climate around the earth started to change, and most of, most of, most of its um, prey started moving to the colder area. And uh, then um, the megalodon, it didn't have much, much to eat. This is just my opinion why it went extinct. Like, I found this YouTube... Well, it's not basically my opinion. I found this um, YouTube episode with somebody doing this, explaining why they... Um, why, why the Megalodon went extinct, and I agreed with them, because that, that's a very good explanation. But heading right back, um, it, it, um, the climate changed, and, um, the Megalodon was running out of food, so it had to, but, like, the whales, it could, they could survive in the cold condition. Well, the Megalodon either had to adapt, or do something else to survive in that cold condition, and, that's well why we believe that Megalodon went extinct. But this food superior used to run the oceans. I mean, imagine if that thing was still alive today. That would be terrifying. And many, many of our sea creatures would be lost. But there's been people like like reporting, like seeing Megalodons on camera and asking question. Um, did they find a Megalodon in an area on trans all that stuff? I might do a video on that if they found a megalodon in Ariana Trench, but they probably did not because well, everything that lives down there is pretty small in organisms, so they, the megalodon wouldn't have much food to supply down there. So I'm guessing the the megalodon was not in there. I I'm guessing the megalodon didn't exist in the first place, like it, like it went extinct a very long time ago, and it's probably gonna be extinct forever. Yeah. Unless, like, God brings it back to life or something. Okay. Well, uh, well I explained how, um, how Megalodon went extinct and stuff. So, peace, guys.